Craig, after such a good start going 1-0 up, why was it, do you think, that you weren't able to keep hold of that lead? Oh, just errors at a set piece, probably. Um, you know, we've, it's, it's, it's nice to go 1-0 up. We haven't done that for a long time. Um, pleased the way the players started, carried it on from the Lincoln game last week and played so well second half. And you want that confidence to go one up, and it's not happened to us for a long time. But then you start probably thinking a bit nervous and sitting deep. But two free kicks, one of them was a bit dubious, I thought, in the awarding of it. But you've got to deal with it, and we didn't do. Um, more, more disappointed with the, the third goal. We were in the game, you say at half time, you're still in the game, the place, and we're only one down against a side that's, that's fancy. But they've had me on a difficult time on the road lately. So I said, come on, just keep the game going as long as possible. And we rush a throw in and you have 3-1 and then you are chasing it and then the game gets stretched. Once the game gets stretched, especially with us, I felt we were, we were a weaker side. No clean sheets now in 16 games. How much of a concern is that? Very much of a concern. You know, both ends of the pitch, we've, um, you know, over the years we've been an attacking team that scored more goals than the opposition and that was always the previous manager's philosophy and it's worked, you know. Um, but we have to take responsibilities to cut, sort it out at the back but also take our chances at the front, front end of the pitch. It's a fifth loss uh, in a row now. Uh, what will you say to the incoming boss, Liam Manning, about which areas that you think need to be prioritised? Well, every aspect of the, of the positions on the team need to need to improve. You know, we're losing games, so we can't. No one can be in that dressing room holding the head up high. Um, you know, midfield areas is, is, a, is an area to, of concern for me in a lot of ways because. It's a battle in there. It's, you know, we talk about second balls, especially at this level. The physicality I brought Oshin, Oshin Smith on today, because he's been trained so well, he gives that physical presence, and he hasn't featured for a while. Well, he hasn't featured for since uh, the cup games. So that's an area for, to improve. But all over the pitch, and I think all of that, even though they come up sometimes and say individually I did quite well, it's not enough. It's not enough. This club's slipping down, and we're in a fight now. And you know, you've heard it over the years in the Premier League, clubs are too good to go down. I just told them in there. You know, you're not. You know, but at some point, a team below you will get a couple of wins and go on a run, and you're, you're, you're in trouble. So, we've got to get out of this slump. It's not quite saying you play well at Lincoln second half and you play well today against a fancy team. It's got to need more than that. we we'll need a lot more. Yeah, you mentioned that the team are in a fight now. You will be staying on as part of the coaching staff, even when Liam Mannon comes in on Monday morning. Do you feel that this team has enough about it? To I, I stay do. Up? I do. I do. We've got a difficult um, fixture list in, in April, of course. But that's one thing well, since I've been here, the lads have always pulled it out against the, against the fancy teams. But there's a lot of challenges ahead. Two games now, more come away in Cheltenham at home, I think it is in the next two weeks, which is vitally important for us. Um, and if the lads maintain some sort of level like that, you hope to see, see us get some points out of it. And walking on the Monday morning, I keep saying to them, you walk in on the Monday morning after a defeat on a Saturday, it's a horrible feeling as a player. We've not had a good feeling on the Monday morning, and that's what's got to start soon.